Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers n, the sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 over the square root of k is greater than or equal to the square root of n. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about all positive integers, let's use induction. So, let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So really, we want to show that the sum from k equals 1 to 1 of 1 over the square root of k is greater than or equal to the square root of 1. Well, let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, we know that this is just equal to 1 over the square root of 1. And 1 over the square root of 1 is just equal to 1, which is equal to the square root of 1. So, we have shown that this guy is equal to this guy. And therefore, this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. So, we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to 1. So, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n where this is true. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. Which means we want to show that this is true. So let's start by writing the left-hand side. Now, let's pull away the n plus 1th term of this sum. So, we can rewrite this as the sum from k equals 1 to n of 1 over the square root of k plus 1 over the square root of n plus 1. Now, by the induction hypothesis, we know that this guy is greater than or equal to the square root of n. And therefore, this entire thing is greater than or equal to the square root of n plus 1 over square root of n plus 1. Now, remember, the whole goal is to show that this guy is greater than or equal to the square root of n plus 1. And at this point in our proof, we are expecting that this guy is greater than or equal to the square root of n plus 1. And if we subtract square root of n to the other side, this means we're expecting this to be true. And we can actually re-express square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n in a different way. So if we take it and multiply it by this, we're going to get 1 over square root of n plus 1 plus square root of n. So we can replace square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n with this. Which means we expect this inequality to be true. And we know that this inequality is true because both of these guys are positive. The numerators are equal. This denominator is less than this denominator. In fact, it would be this guy is strictly greater than this guy. And because this inequality is true, we should be able to use this fact to continue our proof. So we know that 1 over the square root of n plus 1 is greater than this guy. Therefore, this entire thing must be greater than square root of n plus this guy. But if you recall from the work we did earlier, we know that this is true. So we can replace this guy with square root of n plus 1 minus square root of n. And we see square root of n minus square root of n goes away, so we're left with square root of n plus 1. And so, we have shown that this guy is greater than or equal to square root of n plus 1, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So, this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. And so, we have proven that this statement is true. So, this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's 
pretty much it for this video.